Hi everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a visual artist and voice coach from Singapore, currently in Singapore, and welcome to day 37 of my 100 day vlog project. So this is a daily vlog series where I share what I've learned about making your dreams come true, pursuing your passion, following your heart, um, you know, personal growth and evolution, and a little bit about the creative process and the artist journey as well. So if you have questions about any of these, feel free to ask them in the comments below or you can directly message me through any one of my social media links which are in the write-ups attached to these videos. So yesterday I brought up this saying, this very common saying, practice makes perfect um, and how, how I don't agree with it because, you know, first of all, perfection is something that we would never, we would probably never get to, at least not in this lifetime. Not that it's impossible, but chances of us getting there is quite, you know, very, very like unlikely. Um, like 99.9999% unlikely. And the only thing we can really track is our progress. Um, and even in the, you know, in the process of tracking our progress, this is a very individual definition of what that means for you. Um, so, you know, in the eyes of the world, of course, you know, there are certain um, tests and certain measurements that determine our proficiency in certain skill sets. Um, and that, I'm not saying that's not important, I'm saying that is important because it is part of the world that we live in. Like, if you want to get a certification in something, you have to be, you know, you have to show that you are qualified enough and you're proficient enough in that thing to actually get that, to deserve that certification. But what I'm saying is don't get too attached to those measurements as a way of, as a way of um, defining yourself and defining what progress means to you. Because I think, you know, how, I think how we, we quantify and how we measure our progress in life really depends a lot on the bigger dream that you're going after. So coming back to that saying, practice makes perfect, I think a more accurate statement would be practice makes progress. And I got this from a hand lettering artist and an online business um, coach, I guess. Um, his name is Sean McCabe and I've been following him now for about, you know, five years or so. Um, and this is one of the things that he brings up a lot, you know, and he reminds his followers a lot. Practice makes progress. And I think what is, you know, interesting here is the word practice, right? Like, I think a, a very common misconception with practice is that sometimes, um, sometimes we think we can just do something once and we're going to be good at it, you know, and, but that's not what practice really means. Um, the word practice itself kind of implies that this is something that you are constantly working on and you're constantly finding ways to get better at it you know and get and improve in it and um, and you're constantly evolving and growing in whatever that area is that you are practicing um, I remember when I was when I was a child I really did not like taking piano lessons but you know I was kind of you know kind of um, forced to I guess by my mom and uh, so my sister and I we both took piano lessons and we had the same piano teacher so our classes were on the same day each week and you know after we like after school we come home in the afternoon before our class in the evening and we would immediately rush to the piano and we would start fighting each other fighting with each other over who gets to practice on the piano because the whole week that had gone by since our last lesson, we had not practiced at all. Like, we literally always practiced, like, you know, right before going for our piano lessons. And obviously because of that, our progress in terms of learning how to play certain songs on the piano um, took a lot more time than it would have. So the word practice, it implies that there is a consistent effort in working on something and constantly um, you know, doing it and constantly engaging in it such that you can reach, you know, a, a more evolved version of yourself in that area that you are practicing. So as an artist, what we really are engaging in is an art practice because what we are doing, you know, is we are, whatever we are exploring, whatever we are investigating, whatever we are honing, um, it is something that we got to do all the time and we got to do most of the time. And in fact, you know, a lot of artists, even when they are not working in the studio, their minds are still, you know, going over whatever projects they have, you know, they are still sketching as ideas come to them. And all of this is part of that artistic practice or creative practice. Um, and then, you know, for another example would be like lawyers and doctors, they have a law practice, they have a medical practice. Um, and that also implies that they are constantly working on honing 
their skills and you know being up to date with what's going on in the you know in the law and what's going on in the medical world such that they can be the best that they can be for their clients and for their patients um, because they're always up to date in terms of their practice um, and what this means also is that the moment you stop practicing that the moment you stop consistently putting in time and effort and energy to hone yourself in that area that you've chosen to commit yourself to um, it, what then well then entropy is going to set in like what I shared a few days ago that nothing ever stays constant um, the moment you think you are constant and, or stagnant you're not actually um, on the same um, the same level you're actually kind of you know going backwards so practice also means that we have to always move forward we always have to keep pushing ourselves we always have to keep finding ways to evolve and grow whatever it is we're engaged in because otherwise entropy sets in and then you're not actually making progress anymore so that's what i think about you know the statement practice makes progress um, that it is an act of constantly working on something and constantly finding ways to evolve it and constantly pushing our comfort zone and pushing our boundaries such that we can actually grow and make progress in that area that we have devoted ourselves to um, so I'm going to share more about this tomorrow in the context of life and the comfort zone and what I've been sharing about the last few days. So look out for that. And in the meantime, if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or directly message me and subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page wherever you're seeing this video on. And I'll see you tomorrow.